Alrighty, welcome back. As we left off, we're gonna go talk to the uh, ship foreman here. The other episode was like 10 minutes of cutscenes. So hopefully, we get a little bit more action to play through here. What's going on here? Oh, I really don't know. I gotta say, them three people walking down the street. That's a little hoodlum. I do have 11 ability points. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Also, I need to find a blacksmith and do some engraving stuff. Pick up some Hollywood. Do you want to try to upgrade the ship fully? Quite a ways off. I gotta find a lot more than little tablets. And we're looking for Mistyos. Hera! Hera, my friend! <laughs> well, I, I recognize you. I took your ships, didn't I? At the docks! <laughs> We've come to get those ships back. Why would be my first question. <laughs> but then I realized I don't really care. <laughs> because you're a Mistyos! <laughs> Let... Bygones be bygones, my friend. We drink! Except for the mercenary. Now, sail away from me! <laughs> All right, you can't. <laughs> it seems like it'd be easier to silence you and your crew. Then take back the ships. See? Your kind is always thirsty for bloodshed. Violence is not always the answer, Mistyos. This is why I hate mercenaries. They think violence solves everything. I can still hear you. Fine. Calm down. If you want to deal, we must do it like civilized individuals. What do you propose? Helping you would cost more than my left arm. If I am to risk incurring the Tempest's wrath, there should be a sizable benefit for me. I heard valuables can be found at Shipwreck Cove, not far from here. Or I could always use more drachmi. Hmm? You can buy wine with drachmi. I'd rather not run around. Here's your drachmi. <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, make sure it's enough. Uh, my friendship doesn't come cheap. A deal's a deal. I never go back on my word. Only a dishonorable Malakas will break an oath. I'll give you your ships back. But good luck getting past the Tempest. Just take a good look outside at all those wrecks, Mistyos. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thanks to you, Mistyos, we have what we need. Now, we... Horondas. Cassandra. Mr. 
Mistios. No need for bloodshed. I just need you to come quietly, please. Releasing the stranded people has angered the Tempest. Someone just needs to take responsibility and everyone will be fine. Take me, then. They have nothing to do with this. I'm the one you're after. We have done enough. There's no need to escalate this further. Promise me that you will see our plan through to the end. This destruction, all this ruin, it's painful to watch. It feels like she's becoming someone I don't know. No matter what happens, blood is blood. She's still your daughter. Parents always believe in their children, as foolish as that may be. I should have stopped her sooner, stopped her from joining the Order. I should have. When the time comes to face the Tempest, I feel... Uh... What will you do, Cassandra? I'll do my best to bring her back. I was so proud of her. I don't think I ever told her that. There are still so many things I wish I had said. I should go help the rest. We'll meet up in Patre when we're ready. Thank you, Cassandra. For everything. Ah. Alright, well, that was another quick one. Let's find another quest and see what we can do. Let's see where this is at on the old map-o. Alright, we're gonna fast travel. When we come back, we'll be there. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and do this quest on this episode. Since everyone was just a bunch of cutscenes. Turn it into a mini movie here. I do feel this uh, DLC here is a lot better put together than the first episode. The first deals, whatever Legacy of the Blade was dropped. First one just seems so empty. for something good you're finally here you mentioned something big is about to happen in a hair I've heard that the tempest chief engineer is developing a new weapon Natakas and I saw her try the weapon at the docks it's not working yet but it will be a problem when it does he's trying to flee a if he does want to escape maybe we can convince him to help us defeat the tempest He's attending the shipbuilding symposium at the amphitheater here in Achaea. I can head over to the amphitheater now. There seems to be a discussion about a plan, a secret weapon for the Tempest. The chief engineer should have more information about it. Sounds easy enough. The answer to the code word, I am Poseidon's chosen. <laughs> sure. The chief engineer is amongst the attendees. Seek him out. That blade means a lot to you. Where does it come from? I forged it myself, but it's more than a blade to me. It's a choice. It takes skill to get so close to a target. <laughs> That's the point. 
What do you know about the Tempest? She must have been planted by Amorgis. I'm not familiar with the Tempest, but I wouldn't put anything past Amorgis. He's only ever had one thing on his mind. Lasting prosperity for Persia. No matter the price. What convinced you to help the stranded people, Darius? Uh, Natakis' heart is in the right place, and I want to encourage that. But the moment we're done, we're leaving the Greek world for good. I'll head to the amphitheater now and find the chief engineer. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna take this guy out, but he has nothing to offer to my ship. The chief engineer is here, but I don't know exactly who it is. It should be easy enough. The code word is "I am Poseidon's chosen." My friends, we have come a long way. This looks I like the place Darius mentioned. Ups. You have all traveled to be here. Though I thank you for coming. I speak of the noble history of Greek people in this wonderful historic amphitheater set within prosperous Achaea. I think it appropriate to reflect upon that ancient beauty of which with all I am Poseidon's chosen. Right, and I'm Ira's harlot. What? What do you mean, what? Go away. I'm trying to pay attention here. <laughs> Damn, we got a loading screen for each one of these people. I am Poseidon's idiot. What? You're not his chosen, you're his idiot. I could hear you from here pestering people. Who told you about me? A friend of mine has been asking around about you. We heard you want to flee Achaea, and we can help with that. Uh, such freely offered help often comes with a hidden cost. Not this time. I promise. Well, if the Tempest had sent you, I'd be dead by now. I need a way to defeat her. Like this weapon I've heard about. The Chimera's breath. My greatest creation, but also my greatest regret. I left before they could force me to complete it. Without my finishing touches, it will never work as intended. Tell me more about this secret weapon. What does it do? It's meant to engulf enemy ships in a torrent of flames. And it works extremely well. Installation is the tricky part, though. If done incorrectly, it backfires. Horribly. You worked with the Tempest. What can you tell me about her? She's a ruthless, emotionless creature. But the scariest part about her is her strategic brilliance. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more perfect commander. You said you want out of here. Do you have a plan? The only way out is through the Tempest. Trust me, I've exhausted every other option I can think of. That's my wife up there. And now I've put her life at risk, too. You're taking a big risk by sharing your secrets with me. No. I'm betting on you to destroy the Tempest for me. Get your hands on the plans, and I can install the Chimera's breath on your ship. With it, you can destroy her entire fleet. I must do something to right this wrong. If the Chimera's breath is as powerful as you say it is, it would be helpful. Once I'm done with your ship, it will crush the Scylla. So, how do I get the plans? The Tempest's fleet commander has them. He's manning the naval blockade. While you're gone, I'll get to work. The plans are written in a code that only I can read. So even when we have them, it'll take some time. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. 
Good. I was wondering how we could clear the blockade. I'll take care of... Okay, <laughs> that's pretty quick. Here we go. All right, let's go talk to the fleet commander up here. Let's run up here. To the... I guess we've been a hundred times already. After I loot this here treasure. Okay, is there a guy running around somewhere? Wrong button. Check this guy for loot. I got you. And you got me. Runaway engineer, and now the eagle bearer. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> lucky isn't the word I'd use. Oh, look who decided to show up just in time. Kill them! Kill them both! Me out. You got a hell of a combo. Really gonna attack a civilian? Target acquisition. Oh, 
Well, hopefully this takes care of them. That was a pretty good little fight. The Tempest is more shrewd and careful than we expected. We should warn the others. They might be in danger too. I'll have Arnavas take a look at the plans. In any case, we shouldn't linger here. Back to the shadows then. I should find Atakas. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we'll finish this one up. into him. Okay. That's not good. You're in the way. Father almost killed her when they first met. If I hadn't stopped them. <laughs> really? Who do you think would have won? Um. I can handle myself. What's been talking about me? Good, we're all here. We've done everything we set out to. Now, to get the stranded people out of Achea. The Tempest is on her way to install the Chimera's breath on the Skila. But we have the Chimera's breath now. The Tempest will never know what hit her. We've done what we can to prepare. Now we have to execute. We'll surprise the Tempest. Varnavas and I will launch a sea attack. Using the Chimera's breath to disable the Skila will be our best chance to get everyone off the coast. The merchant ships? The distraction should buy time for them to leave. Natakas and I will make sure everyone is on board the ships. This is our chance to leave Achaea. Darius is right, Natakas. You should be on those ships. Both of you. They're your way out. What do you think, Natakas? It's our only chance. You have to take it. We will. We'll need somewhere to stay until then. Somewhere that won't raise suspicion. I know just the place. A house on the hill near Dime. Let's go there now. Look at this place. It belonged to a friend of mine. He tried getting out of Achaea, but he didn't make it. 
I need to prepare the others. See you too soon. There's something about this place. It's a beautiful place. Peaceful. I know. Too bad we won't stay. So... what's next? We'll probably keep running. As always. At least there's wine. At least there's wine. What have you done? Stop it! That's how I grew up. <laughs> Ooh, but seriously, your father is a very capable man. He is, but emotionally, he is hard to open up. It's hard to make friends for people like us, living on the move as we do. Oh, we've met each other. To our friendship. To our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Malaka. This reminds me of when we met in Macedonia. We ate boar beneath the stars. It was the first time in a long time that I felt home. I haven't felt that since. Until tonight. Then let's make the most of it. find Darius and the others. The stranded people are probably at the docks already. Alrighty guys, we're gonna end it there when we come back. We going through the docks, I suppose. The next time, be safe. See you.